Hello everybody, Brian here from Critical Skills. Gonna do a very quick screencast just to show you a little trick you might want to do with the class data or scatter plots in general. So I've got a data set here, um, small enough. The, these are various test subjects. The number of years they've been playing Dungeons and Dragons and the number of Dungeons and Dragons themed tattoos that they have. So we're gonna grab these two columns. We're gonna go insert, throw a scatter plot on there. Wow. Perhaps unsurprisingly, just looking at that scatter plot, you can see that's got a positive correlation there. So we'll go ahead and add, let's add a trend line and then let's slap the uh, correlation coefficient on there. Wow, positive 0.75. You might say, oh, that's great, but um, I'd like to add my own data, and my own dot in here, because like with the class data, we have class data and you have your own data. So wouldn't it be good if you've you've done a correlation you want to add your own data no problem click on this chart filter you're going to click select data then you're going to click add and you're going to say whatever the data is your name if it's you now we've set we haven't labeled the axes you'd want to do that but the, the x down here is our year because it was first it was on the left when we selected it so that's our year And then the Y is the number of Dungeons and Dragons themed tattoos. And then you click OK. And lo and behold, that orange dot there is the one we've just added. And we could even add a label to it. Right? So lo and behold, we've done a very quick scatter plot, and then we've added our own personal data onto the uh, scatter plot so we can compare our own individual data with the data set. So pretty straightforward. And again, the graph itself does need a good bit of tidying up to be presentable, but it's a nice trick.